Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat, coming up on Newsbreak. It's Are You OK Day. Emma Raducanu's dream run continues. And look at these tiny apples. But before we get started, why don't you hit that subscribe button nicely. Today is Are You OK Day, a great reminder that every day is a good day to ask, are you OK? So we can support each other through life's ups and downs. I checked in with Leela today. It's good to check in on the people around you. And for me, honestly, it's been a bit of a tough year. And I'm sure many of you feel the same, especially those of you stuck in lockdown. Honestly, it doesn't feel really good because I miss my family, I miss my friends, I even miss the normal routine of school. I hate that we've been in lockdown for so long. It's been over two months of the same thing every day. Most of the time it's okay, but some days it is hard not knowing how long we're gonna be in lockdown for. It does get frustrating. That's why this year's Are You OK Day and its theme is really important. It's, are they really okay? Ask them today. What might it look like if some of our friends are having a bad day? Um, so they might be on their own or they might be crying or not really talking much. Like go over to them and see like what's wrong and ask and make sure that they're like okay. The research shows those questions can really help, but we should ask them way more often. And when you're checking in on someone, you should really listen, try to help them do something about it, and if you're really worried about them, talk to someone who can help, like a trusted adult. It's nice to have friends and just make sure like everyone's okay because everyone deserves to be happy. The Taliban, the extremist group now leading Afghanistan, say women will no longer be allowed to play sports. That announcement means a cricket game between Australia and Afghanistan, meant to happen in Hobart later this year, will be called off. Not because women will be playing, but because under international cricket ruling, all countries have to field both men's and women's teams. So Cricket Australia says unless women in Afghanistan are still allowed to play, that test match won't be happening. Emma Raducanu has continued her dream run at the US Open, vaulting her way into the semi-finals. All that and more in sport. Emma Raducanu just keeps on winning at the US Open. And Sinemar Raducanu. Two sets to love. 6 3, 6 4. The 18 year old beat Olympic gold medalist Belinda Bencic in straight sets, becoming the youngest British player to ever make it to the US Open semi finals. For the first time in the NRL's 114 year history, the big game will be played in Brisbane's Suncorp Stadium. Never in my lifetime did I think that we would have an NRL grand final here in Queensland. It's because of the whole COVID sitch in New South Wales. Queensland will host all the NRL finals, with the Storm and the Sea Eagles kicking things off tomorrow night. Finally, holding a plank is pretty hard. Unless you're Daniel Scarley. He just broke a world record, holding an abdominal plank for nine and a half hours. It was all to raise money for chronic pain awareness. Now, with 24 hours until tomorrow's show, tune in to see if the record still stands. I didn't set a timer. Now for a segment I like to call, I spent a lot of time working on this. I hope you like it. It's that time of year again where artists from all over the top end and beyond show off their talents on the streets of Darwin. 30 artists have participated in this year's Street Art Festival, peppering the town with stunning works of vibrant art. I'm painting the python. It's one of our favourite animals. And the fact that it's a native animal and also my dreaming is, it makes it even more special. I've always liked art, you know, ever since I was like a kid, scribbling on napkins to scribbling on walls, really. I started with the name Songbirds and Dance Bugs. I hope, you know, people can see my wall and take photos and, you know, be inspired to do their own art. To England now, where another colourful festival is taking place. St Anne's Kite Festival saw dozens of kites flying high in the sky, in all shapes and sizes. Luckily, the weather played nice and the event was a great success. Finally, to Russia, where one man has been busy cultivating an apple that can withstand the harsh Siberian winters. And yes, they really are that small. 
Even though they're the size of berries, they're apparently still quite crunchy and taste exactly like apples. Yum. Good luck making an apple pie with that. Well, that's all the news we've got for you today. In the meantime, don't forget you can always hit subscribe. Why not? We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.